Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use radio buttons. And this is the layout that we're going to use. I'm going to drag a set of radio buttons into the layout just below the text view. And here we have three radio buttons. You can notice from the outline, we have something called as a radio group. And within it, we have three radio buttons. Uh, that's because radio buttons have to be grouped together and only one radio button within a group can be selected at a time. In case if you want to have two different groups, then you'll have to create two radio groups and place the appropriate radio buttons inside. Here, we're not going to need three buttons, we'll need just two, so I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to rename all these views. The radio group is going to be called as preparation. Okay, and I'm going to rename the first radio button as shaken. I'm also going to change the text property which says shaken. And the second radio button, I'm going to call this as third. And the text is also going to be stirred. So now we have a layout in which we have a text view which is a question that says how do you like your martini and followed by two radio buttons one is shaken the other one is third. Now we are going to write some code uh, which will display a toast when you select either of the radio button. Simple one. Let's go to the source and here we have our package and we have radioactivity.java. Let's go ahead and get three reference variables. The first one is for the radio group and two more for the radio buttons. Private radio group. I'm going to call this as preparation. And we have two radio buttons. The first one is called shaken and the second one is third. That's it. Let's go ahead and get the references. One thing I would like to tell you about the radio group is that the radio group is a subclass of the linear layout. So the orientation properties can be used to decide the orientation of your radio buttons, either horizontal or vertical. And next, let's get the reference to the radio buttons. Shaken and stirred. Find view ID, hard.id dot stirred. Now we're going to add a click listener to all the radio buttons. We're going to implement an on click listener from the view class, add unimplemented methods. And now we're going to write some code inside the on click method, which is when either of the radio buttons are clicked, we're going to check which button was clicked and display an appropriate toast. To find out which view was clicked, we're going to use the radio group preparation dot get checked radio button ID which will return as the ID of the radio button that was checked and we're going to use a switch statement the key is going to be the checked radio button ID in case if the button that was clicked is the shaken radio button we're going to check if the shaken radio button is checked because you should really know whether your radio button was checked. So we can find that out by calling the isChecked method on the radio button. So if shaken is checked, then we're going to display a toast. Context is this. The text is going to be a format string r dot string dot message selection and the get string method 
is used to get the format argument which is r dot string dot shaken and toast a short time is sufficient you may show the toast let's go ahead and do the same with the stirred radio button case r dot id dot stirred and instead of chicken I'm going to make it stirred because I've copied this code from the previous block and I'm going to replace the string with stirred we don't need the default block save this and now we're going to assign this click listener to our radio buttons set on click listener and stirred dot set on click listener is this that's it let's go ahead and run this application run it as an android application switch to the emulator and here it is let's go ahead and click on stirred it says you like your martini stirred and click on shaken tells you that you like your martini shaken that's about it and this is how you use a radio button in Android also you can use the on checked change listener which will work in a similar manner and if you have any questions please feel free to ask thank you